हेलो एवरीवन होप एवरीवन इज डूइंग ग्रेट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इकोनॉमिक ऑर्डर क्वांटिटी वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट मॉडल एंड टेक्निक ऑफ इन्वेंट्री कंट्रोल राइट सो पर्टिकुलरली टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कंसेप्चुअल द लॉजिकल फ्रेमवर्क इन द रेशनल बिहाइंड द डेरिवेशन ऑफ द फॉर्मूला हाउ दिस फॉर्मूला एमर्जेस the various costs which are attached to it what is the requirement what possible answers and solutions are provided to the various questions what answers are given by this particular model in order to go for the better management of the inventory by the production firms so the model is economic order quantity also known as eoq model of inventory management so it is another approach to control the inventory by answering the two basic questions these two questions are very important the very first question is how many times in a year order should be placed because then when we are able to answer this particular question we will be able to determine our ordering cost so one of the important cost of inventory management another question is each order should be of how much quantity what quantity we need to place what quantity we require in each order because it will directly impact our holding and the carrying cost so these are the two basic questions the solution of which is provided by this particular model economic order quantity so we will try to find out the answers of these questions which will have a rational which will have a logical framework which has given the birth to the formula for calculating the economic order quantity so there are few factors one is the ordering cost and another is your holding cost which can be the cost of planning and placing an order how much cost is uh, there in order when we are going for the ordering how much cost is being there when we are holding or when we are carrying the inventory with us So ordering cost includes the cost of planning and placing an order, which can be like salary of the related staff, the rent of the building, cost of the miscellaneous office items like stationery, postage, telephone, the internet, etc. The mode by which the firm is placing an order. Right. Another is the holding or the carrying cost, which means there are costs associated with the maintenance of the inventory, maintaining inventory in the warehouses, go downs, etc. And that can be. the rent of the warehouse or the storage place the cost of the capital tied up in inventory expenses of the warehouse like electricity telephone insurance security salary of the security guard etc and the cost of the damages and obsolescence of the raw material which have been stored in the warehouses say for example the total consumption of a raw material is 5000 units in a year say for example 5000 units of raw material is required by any production firm xyz so i i can place an order in the various combination or it can be i can place one order of 5000 units or i can go for five orders during that time containing 1000 units each then i can go with 10 orders placing 10 orders of 500 units or 20 orders of 250 units each so this number can increase from 1 to 5 to 10 to 20 to 50 which means as we increase the number of orders the total ordering cost will increase similarly if orders are increasing the cost of the also increase but with increase in number of orders what we are observing when we are placing one order the quantity to be ordered is 5000 units but then when we are moving to five orders the quantity to be ordered is decreased to 1000 units similarly when 10 orders are placed the quantity to be ordered per order is 500 units and when 20 orders are placed the quantity has been decreased to 250 units per order and so on this criteria will be there but before we will be understanding the entire logical background behind this relationship let us go for the Uh, average inventory part right say for example again the diagram there is a inventory level and there is a ton 
so we talk about 5000 units we require and why i am showing this particular diagram is important if we require 5000 units i have ordered one i have the first order as 5000 units i have in my warehouse production has started so at one point of time the quantity which i am carrying is 5000 units and as per the time it is decreasing to 4000 3000 2500 2000 1000 1000 and 0 and what does this diagram represent at one point of time i am holding 5000 units at one another point of time i am having zero and what does this mean every point of time i am not holding 5000 units so in order to calculate holding cost and carrying cost it is important to determine exact cost so the solution of finding out the exact cost of carrying can be ascertained with the help of the concept of average inventory so the average inventory in this particular case is 2500 which means opening stock plus closing stock that is 5000 plus 0 divided by 2 because we are taking the average and that's why it is known as average inventory so average inventory comes to be 2500 in this particular case Say for example, I am holding thousand inventory as a production firm. So at one point of time, I am keeping thousand inventory. At another point of time, I am keeping zero. And as and when the figure goes to zero, I am placing in a, another order that is O2. So again, I am having thousand units. And then it is another point of time I am having zero. Then this will be continued in the similar way, and that will give rise to the average inventory. and we are going to ascertain the average inventory in the form by putting it in the formula which which talks about that opening stock plus closing stock for the given period of time divided by 2 that means 1000 plus 0 divided by 2 which will give rise to the average inventory and in this particular case we are having 500 and we are keeping this average inventory for the calculation of the holding cost right again i am coming back to the logic behind the formulation of the formula so in there is a inverse relationship between ordering cost and carrying cost and what we mean by it technically we are understanding say for example if we select one order of 5000 units if we are placing only one order which consists of 5000 units what we mean by this is that our ordering cost will be very low of one order on the other hand the carrying cost will be very high of having 2500 units and why we have taken 2500 units because it is the average inventory therefore it was must required to understand the concept of average inventory but we are having requirement of 5000 units but as far as carrying cost we need to ascertain we need to calculate the carrying cost we will be calculating on the average inventory so it is calculated 2500 units if we are selecting 20 orders of 250 units each so what will be our cost calculation carrying cost will be very low of 125 units how this 125 units comes because 250 units at one point of time and zero unit at second point of time the average inventory for carrying 250 units is 125 units similarly ordering cost will be very high of 20 orders because therefore the solution lies in minimizing the sum of both the cost so we are not concerned about only the holding cost or carrying cost or the ordering cost for us as a production firm both costs are important to ascertain and our objective is to have the minimum combination of these two types of cost so this Uh, this combination which minimizes the total cost that is ordering cost and carrying cost will be the optimum solution and that solution is being provided with the help of the model eoq also known as economic order quantity let us take an example how we are logically how we are rationally defining this particular analysis say for example in the current example what we have taken right now Uh, we are just quantifying the data and we are just assuming and we are saying that ordering cost o oh, is rupees 100 per order so one order equals to 100 rupees and carrying cost that is c per unit is rupees 1 so different ordering cost plus 
carrying cost combination can be like this way. So there are order size 5000, 1500, 250. The number of orders what we have quoted in the previous example that was 5000 units in one order, 1000 units into 5 orders, 500 units, 10 orders, 250 units, 20 orders. So average inventory we need to calculate first and the formula is given Q by 2. Q means here opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2 which means 5000 plus 0 divided by 2 is 2500. Again for when we are holding 1000 units with us, the average inventory is 500. When we are having 500 units with us, the average inventory is 250 units. When we are holding 250 units, so the average inventory we are holding for the entire time is 125 units. Similarly, the annual carrying cost, annual carrying cost is the average inventory into the cost. And we have assumed that cost of carrying inventory is rupees 1 per unit. Therefore, so 2500 into 1 is 2500. 500 into 1 is rupees 500, 250 into 1 is rupees 250, 125 as a unit into 1 rupees is rupees 125. Similarly, the first cost has been calculated. We are going for the calculation of the second cost that is annual ordering cost and annual ordering cost is 100 rupees per order. So, if we are going to place one order which means 100 into 1 is rupees 100. If we are going to place 5 orders, which means 100 into 5 is rupees 500. If we are going to place 10 orders, so the total cost will be 1000 rupees. And if we are going to place 20 orders in the entire year, so we are going to have 20 into 100 rupees, that will be 2000 rupees. So we are not concerned about only one of the cost element. We are concerned about both the elements, both the cost, that is ordering cost and carrying cost. Therefore, the O plus C combination we need to check the total annual cost. Therefore, the minimum cost is rupees 1000 and that will be our optimum solution. That will be our minimum cost which means we are going to place 5 orders having 1000 quantity in every order. We have seen the logical background. This relationship can be seen by this particular diagram. The quantity is reflected on one of the axis the cost for the firm is reflected on the second axis. What we are going to observe in this diagram is carrying cost is increasing. As we are increasing the quantity, the carrying cost is also increasing and it is going in the upward movement. Similarly, if the carrying cost is increasing, the, the ordering cost is decreasing. But we are not concerned about the two individual costs in, in isolation. We are concerned about the total cost. So total cost curve will be our uh, the combination which we have seen 2600,000, 1250 and 2125. We need to ascertain the total cost. So our total cost curve will be like this which means point of intersection will be our EOQ and when it will be drafted on the cost axis that will be the cost and when it will be pointed out to the quantity axis, it will be our EOQ. So this point of intersection will determine the cost and the quantity which we are going to order in that particular. Now we will try to put the values in the formula. What example we have taken previously, we are going to put the numeric values into the formula which has been derived. So the mathematical formula for calculating EOQ is EOQ economic order quantity is the square root 2 into OC that is ordering cost into annual demand and annual demand is 5000 units in the previous example. So here 2 into ordering cost into annual demand which means the annual requirement divided by carrying cost per unit. So we are putting the values into our formula which means EOQ is equal to square root of 2 as a constant we have taken 100 was the cost of order ordering cost per order and 5000 units we require divided by 1 1 here depicts the carrying cost per unit that was 1 rupee which means 1000 units we are getting thank you everyone thank you for watching this video any question any queries any suggestions from your side are most welcome